about being uh, away for the holidays. That's not the joy, but being in a warm weather climate really made things a little bit more enjoyable. And uh, going into this game against UAB, that was a nice little uh, wrinkle that we run for Ken Johnson. We got a couple of baskets on that uh, throughout the entire tournament. This was just indicative of some unselfish play that we had for all three games, just guys making the extra pass. But we went there thinking that this was going to be a real tough game as it was. UAB was a preseason top 20 team. Uh, they played a little bit of zone. We didn't play against much zone, but we were very prepared for it. And our guys did a great job of recognizing their changing defenses. And that possession, they played some zone. We got a nice basket. Michael, very active all tournament long, as we'll see through these clips. Uh, obviously, MVP of the tournament, but this was just one of his athletic baskets. He's very good on the glass. After he uh, shoots and misses, he'll get his own rebound. Uh, nice play here by John. Again, they played a little bit of zone. John did a good job of following his own missed shot. We did not do a real good job in this game, Andy, with our three front court guys getting on the glass, and we challenged them a little bit at halftime in the second and third games to do a much better job on the glass and be a little bit more active. But Scooney and Michael were terrific. A little curl up the lane here. We back screen Jason. He rolls down the lane. Jason also had a real good tournament uh, making the all-tournament team. Again, they switched to his own. We recognize it. Uh, we stretched them out on the baseline. This time, uh, it's George to Jason. The other sequence was Jason to George. So these two guys have been playing very well together. Uh, but UAB is the type of team <clears throat> not going to go away. We knew that this was going to go right down to the wire. But when you have a kid like Scooney that can just control all of the action, you know, you feel real good at the end of games on offense. Boban Savovich, like everybody off the bench, did a real good job. I thought this basket right here, this steal, three-point play really put the game away. Uh, it was at that point I started to feel real comfortable. And uh, when we come out of there thinking that UAB is uh, predicted to be one of the premier teams in Conference USA and we can come away with a seven-point win, we felt real good about this win. But then uh, we have to regroup the very next day and play against a real good team, North Carolina State. They have visions of getting into the NCAA tournament. They think that they're going to be one of the better teams in the ACC. Um, here's a nice sequence with uh, Scooney penetrating Michael as he's starting to do a little bit better. Uh, move without the basketball and Scooney finds him on the baseline. Brian Brown has played very well for us this year. Makes a nice steal and gets a nice uh, fast break layup. Takes the ball with authority right to the basket right there. And I thought that Brian had a real good tournament for those three games as well. We've changed our defenses. We're playing a little bit more zone. Adam Harrington is a freshman for NC State. He's their leading scorer. We did a very good job guarding him, but this was a big basket by Boban because they had made that three and we came right back in the very next possession, matched Harrington's three with our own. And uh, for one reason or another, I'm not real excited walking off at halftime. We were up by three or four. I wasn't real happy, I think, with some of the officiating at the end of the first half. But again, we're playing uh, up-tempo. We had a lead virtually throughout the entire game. Here's Scooney again. Nice penetration to Jason. Jason was absolutely phenomenal in this game. Uh, a couple of very acrobatic and athletic baskets. And Jason responded very, very well to our challenge with our front court guys giving us a little bit more. But uh, we kind of isolate Kenny a little bit at the lane. We're trying to get him to go to this shot a little bit more. And he makes a real good sweeping jump hook. Uh, they fell asleep a little bit. We got, as we talked earlier, this is something that we've been getting a little bit more of. And uh, it's a nice play, Jason and Kenny. This is something that we talk about with our delay game. A real good read by our guys on a set call to make a backdoor basket uh, when we have teams spread out. And going into this game, I would have been shocked if somebody would have said we were going to win this game by 17 or so points. I think NC State is a real good team. That turns out to be a great win for us. Now, you seen Juniors, who has been in the NCAA tournament for a couple of years, so we knew it was going to be a tough game. All right, let's check out some of the highlights from the championship game. They, uh, they were a team that probably guarded us as tough as anybody all season long from end line to end line. So sometimes you have to put in a few little wrinkles to just loosen them up. Uh, we had a breakaway basket early in the game for, uh, by John Sanderson. But I thought that that shot right there for Michael typifies some of the things that happens to us when we get a little bit lethargic and careless. That was a quick jump shot. Those lead to bad things at the other end. They got a breakaway layup. Uh, but this was a real hard game for us. I thought that Mississippi was as good a defensive team as anybody we played all year long. However, Brian Brown breaks them down off the dribble in transition. And as we stated earlier, Brian has been playing very well for us. Not only did he make, go to the basket on a breakaway right there, 
but he leads a pass to or, or floats one down the floor to Michael on a real good look. Michael gets one of his many baskets throughout the tournament. We didn't guard their point guard. His last name was White. Uh, we didn't guard him that much, and for that reason, he didn't call glass when he <laughs> made the three. Uh, that really wasn't the way he planned it, I'm sure, but sometimes you have to live with those things. This was a very critical part of the game at the end of the first half. 30 seconds to go at the half. They're down one. They're holding it. We go 8 nothing. Obviously, we're not real good at slapping each other and high-fiving. Michael almost got a tooth knocked out. But uh, nevertheless, we made two uh, steals. Michael made two free throws. He makes a three-point play with two seconds to go. We steal another one. Scooney makes a three at the buzzer, and we go 8 nothing. the last 30 seconds and a half to be up by seven at halftime, which was real big for us. Uh, as was the case for the entire tournament, Andy, Scooney was terrific with Michael, uh, one of his three-pointers. Defensively, we were good throughout the entire tournament. This is a real nice play. Again, Brian Brown off the steal, leading Michael for uh, one of our easy baskets. But this game was going to go right down to the wire. Uh, this is a real good experienced team. This is a walk-on freshman point guard for them, if you will. And uh, he had a real good tournament, a three that I don't think we put enough pressure on him. But uh, here we are, got caught playing a little bit of zone. Jason comes up with a huge steal, leads it to Brian. Brian high off the glass. That was not a pass, but Jason uh, deserved to get that basket because he was the one that made the steal and did a great job of following the action and uh, finishing off the dunk. But uh, this, is, this game is going to go down to the wire. You need to loosen the defense up when they're overplaying every single pass and catch. We uh, make a little bit of a call from the bench. Michael runs back door. Nice pass from Jason. We're playing zone again. We're starting to play a little bit more zone than we did early in the year. But this is a very good team who shoots the ball very well. And that was a, a somewhat of an easier basket by them. But this is as has been the case all tournament long. We've been milking this play. And, uh, and, as, and until they get to the point that they're going to take it away, we're going to continue to run it. Kenny does a real good job catching and, and making a nice dunk. But this was the play of the game, one-point game, 25 or so seconds to go. And this basically uh, sealed the victory for us. Jason, as he had done all tournament long, terrific athletic steal, three-point play. This basket here puts us up by uh, four points. He ends up making the free throw. And for all intents and purposes, uh, that was the game. That made it two possessions. I think they scored a basket. They fouled us. Scooney makes his free throws. And we come away from this tournament feeling very, very good about ourselves with a five-point win and a championship. And I, But as was evidenced early on, the rims were very, very tight. These are the first shots that are actually even going up against these baskets. And, but both teams had the same dilemma. And this was just a game that we were, I think, the, the road really took its toll. And uh, we were very, very lethargic, and we were out of sync on offense virtually the whole game, but clearly for the first half. And uh, we put ourselves behind the eight ball real early, uh, not really getting a whole lot done. And I think we got down by about 12 or 14 points. This is one of our few baskets early in the game. It was, uh, as you can see here, they're starting to pull away 15-6. And Tim James, who just took that shot, is arguably uh, the best power forward in America right now, but they are all over the glass right there, and we just seem to be a step or so behind every single uh, loose ball or every rebound. But this was a big basket by John. It got us to within 11, and uh, we struggled the entire first half. Nothing was easy for us at all, with the exception of maybe that basket right there. But as the half winds down, uh, we find ourselves down 13, 14 points, and we are in dire need to get something going offensively. As you can see, we miss a bunny like that by Kenny. Scooney's the one that ends up getting the tip in. And uh, this is a very difficult team for us to play against because they are very, very good defensively. And this just kind of typified where we were a little bit stumble bums, if you will, throughout the entire first half. But uh, Scooney just comes down in transition, makes a big basket to get it to 10. Without that basket, who knows? It could have gotten to 15 or 16. They make another shot here. And we're just kind of trying to get to halftime under 10 points. We're down by 11 right here. We give the ball to Michael, and we're just going to let him go instead of running off and just see what he can come up with. He ends up making a basket, which was huge, uh, huge for us. And we go down nine at the half, thinking that this was pretty good because it could have been a lot worse. We always talk about, Andy, the first five minutes of the second half being critical. If you don't win the first five and you're down by nine, it could be 15. If you win the first five, it could get to this situation right here where we end up being down 
uh, three points after only three minutes gone by. So that first five minutes was huge for us. We were right back in the picture. We start playing a lot better on offense. Uh, we scored 23 points in the first half. We scored 43 in the second half. We doubled our output. And so we end up winning the second half of this game. But I just really felt we got too far behind. We couldn't make up the difference without using so much energy. Tim James, a very, very difficult matchup for us. He's an All-American candidate. We just had no answers for him all game long. He took us inside, he took us outside. One of our few baskets in around the basket right here. We are playing a little bit better. We're playing a little bit harder. And we did have some opportunities to make this game a little bit closer. Uh, here we find ourselves down 11 again. John scores, it's 10. The entire second half, it went from like 12 to four, back up to 13, back to four. This is a nice run that we're making right here. We're starting to press. We're starting to try to put as much pressure on them. And we have it within six right here. And uh, John makes a big basket here to make it four with five minutes to go. It was four points with five minutes. It was four points with, I think, three and a half. And it was even four points, I think. We had a free throw or one-on-one. -on -one. 